guys and welcome to my channel. This video will show if the Lenovo Legion 5 laptop which I bought for video editing work is suitable or not. To kick things off, we take a look at Cinebench scores. Some of the results here are results I got off the web. You can see here that the Legion 5 is a little bit faster than all other laptops using the same processor which is the Ryzen 7 4800H. And moving on to Geekbench 5, here again we see the Legion 5 top the list, even beating the more expensive ASUS Zephyrus G14 and the Intel i9 MacBook Pro by a huge margin. Here's the score against the almighty Apple MacBook Pro 16 inches. Next up, we look at the included NVMe SSD. This SSD is an OEM model supplied by Samsung. So the best software I think to test this out is the Crystal Dismark. And here are the results. The Samsung SSD show pretty good performance and I'm very happy with it. Though I kind of regret not getting the 500 gigs one. So the specs say that the screen is 100% sRGB which is also the equivalent of the broadcast spec Rec. 709. This is an important requirement for photo or video work. I use an x ray probe and display cal for this measurement. Okay, so the results show that it is actually 94% sRGB coverage and 102% uh, volume, 96% Adobe RGB coverage, 71% volume, and 73% DCI-P3 and 73% DCI-P3 volume. Well, I think this is good enough for video and uh, image processing work. However, it will not be good enough for critical high-end color grading work uh, with a software like DaVinci Resolve. Moving along to Adobe Premiere Pro, here are the results I got from the Puget Systems benchmark. The Legion 5 is 484 points and we compare that to the ASUS Tough, which is uh, lower, probably due to the overheating issues as reported by some folks. And comparing the next one, which is the uh, desktop version of this processor, it is no surprise that it scores about 15% higher than the 4800H. Next up, we compare it to the Intel i9-9900KF which is a 95 watt desktop chip known as the fastest gaming processor so it is no surprise that it is faster than the legion 5 but not by a whole lot and finally we see the legion 5 crushing the hp spectre x360 with the intel i7 9750h and finally i'm putting up benchmark results for the vinci resolve although this benchmark don't support a GPU with 4 gigs of VRAM, the 4K benchmark does run to the end but as you can see, the triple noise reduction tests fail and shows a zero score. The Fusion benchmark, however, is able to complete. Now this brings us to the end of the episode. Like and subscribe if you can. Bye now.